Hi, I'm Derek with Scout. I'm going to show you how you can easily monitor your cloud servers using Scout. Right now we have a server set up on the Rackspace cloud called Zeus. We're monitoring the memory and the server load using a couple of Scout plugins. Setting up Scout on a server is a real easy process. We'll just install the RubyGem Scout. The command for that is just gem install Scout. So I'm on the Zeus server right now installing it, and that's done. Next, we're just going to run the Scout command. This actually reports back to the server with the data from our Scout plugins. So Scout and the unique identifier for Zeus, and it's reported. Next, we're going to want it to run regularly. The easiest way to do that is good old-fashioned cron. So let's just Scout in that same unique identifier. This will ensure that Scout reports at a regular interval. So we've got Scout set up on a single server, but what we want to talk about is monitoring the cloud. So let's say we have another server that boots up. We want monitoring to just work, and we want it to use the same profile we already have set up for Zeus. Doing that with Scout is really easy. All we have to do is ensure that the cloud image selection is checked in our server settings for Zeus. The next time a server boots up that uses the same key as Zeus, It'll grab that same profile from Zeus, automatically create a new tab, and use all the same plugins, triggers, and notifications that we've already set up for Zeus. For example, if I add another plugin for Zeus, let's say I want to monitor our disk usage on a server. Go ahead and we'll click the Install Plugin button. Don't really need to monitor anything, uh, set any special settings for this. We'll go ahead and click Create just to be sure we'll go ahead and run Scout on Zeus and make sure the disk uses plugin data is reported. I'll just ran that, refresh, and we see we've got disk usage data. So the next time we add a new plugin to Zeus, any other servers that we boot up as well that use that same key will pick up that data as well. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Rackspace. I'm going to use a backup image I've already made of Zeus, and we use that when we start up our new server. The only thing special about that backup image is that I've added a cron tab entry, which I've already showed you, that reports using the Zeus key. So we'll go ahead, and we've got the server booting up here. So I'm going to go ahead and let this build and we'll come back once it's finished building. All right, we're back. Server's built. Now, if I log into Scout and I go to the server admin for Zeus, I'll see that we see a new instance reporting that's using the Zeus settings. If I click the tab at the top, I see that new server. You can see it's using the same plugins, memory, disk usage, and server load that we set up on Zeus. Go ahead and click the Zeus tab just to confirm it. And that's it. That's all you have to do, that single line cron entry for monitoring.